Hey, Bobby here from Wedding Film School. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make vertical edits to help better advertise your wedding films in under five minutes. The times are changing and we are finding more and more that vertical video is being rewarded. And while we as wedding filmmakers probably all agree that we would prefer that not be the case, it's not up to us. And sometimes you have to play the game. Now I've seen multiple examples where a film or teaser is posted on social media, both as a vertical cut, as well as its original resolution. And the vertical video outperformed the original by a significant amount every time. Now, whether or not that was the algorithm favoring the vertical video or maybe something else, we might not never know. But the lesson here is that if you want to get the most impressions on your wedding films, teasers, clips, or whatever video content you're putting out on social media, you need to be posting them in a vertical format. Luckily for us, there is an incredibly easy way to do this within Final Cut. And I have a related video that I did on this a year or so ago, which I'm going to link up here. But this is with the built in feature Smart Conform. All right, so here I am in Final Cut and you can see that I have one of my highlight films opened up. Now I'm gonna use this as an example, but you'll see that I'm only gonna go through the first 15, 20 seconds or so and treat it as if this was, you know, just a clip or a teaser or something like that that I wanted to post. Now, one important thing to note before we get into this, this works when the clips are individual clips on your timeline. It does not work as well if you exported the whole video and then brought it in because it does not have the clips separated and therefore it cannot look at each clip separately and figure out how it should fit within the vertical frame. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to your project here, right click and go to duplicate project as. Something will pop up, you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine Vertical Amy Matt. And then you're gonna go into the uh, drop down here and select Vertical. And you can change the resolution. I'm gonna make mine 1080 by 1920, but of course choose what you want. And then very important, you gotta click Smart Conform. That's what's going to take the different clips and decide how they should fit within that vertical frame. Once you've done that, you'll have a new project called, well, whatever you called it. Mine is Vertical Amy Matt. You see, I had another one already made from doing stuff previously. And when you open that up, you see that it is now in a vertical format, 1080 by 1920, and it has automatically decided how each frame should fit. It's decided what is the most important thing in the frame and what you should see. Now it's not perfect. And you're gonna see that I'm gonna go through this clip by clip. I'm gonna figure out if I wanna make any subtle changes or things like that. Now it's probably focusing mainly on people. I don't know exactly how it works, but it works pretty damn well. So I like having these things centered up. So I'm gonna make some changes on this one and some others. But again, guys, it does a really, really good job. And that's basically the gist of this whole thing. So if yours is a 20 second clip or an entire highlight film, it doesn't matter. I suggest you go through clip by clip. Just make sure that things that are being shown are exactly how you want them framed and whatnot. Uh, but this is an amazing starting point. Most of these clips I won't even have to touch and you're basically good to go. So that's how you can turn your wedding videos, teasers, clips, and more into a likely more successful vertical edit using Smart Conform in Final Cut. I hope you found this helpful. If you're a wedding filmmaker, you enjoy videos like this, behind the scenes, gear reviews, and deep dives into wedding filmmaking concepts. Be sure to follow us here on Wedding Film School as well as our podcast channel, The Wedding Film School Show. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.